It's been a few days now since we showed you Android 4.1 Jelly Bean running on our phones. It's been really cool and you've mentioned that you liked it a lot. But how can you get it on your phone? I'm Joe Levi. This is Pocket Now. We're going to show you how to do that right now. So this is my Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It's the GSM variety. I'm going to go ahead and boot this up into my special boot up mode here. You do that by holding both the up and down buttons on that side and the power button. So we'll press both of those buttons. We'll press and hold the power button. Wait just a minute. And there you go. Now I should let you know this is already unlocked which is called OEM Unlocked. This is also pre-rooted, okay? So make sure you go ahead and do that. Now, different instructions are gonna apply for the Sprint and the Verizon versions of the phone. We're just gonna cover this. They're kind of the same, but you can get some more specific details. The GSM one, it's easy cheesy. So let's go ahead and do this. Right now we're in fast boot mode. We're going to use the down arrow to come down into recovery mode. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that and then press the power button. This is going to now reboot. You can see it is unlocked as evidenced by my little unlock icon down at the bottom. It's a Google phone if you didn't already know that. And this is booting me up. This is Clockwork Mod Recovery version 5.8.0.2. 5. Point just about anything will work. I like this version because it's touch enabled. I'll show you what I mean by that. First of all, what you're going to want to do is back up your current ROM. That's if you want to be able to go back to it. If you want to be daring, go ahead and skip it. I wouldn't. Well, I'm going to, but that's only because I already have backed it up. So we'll skip that for now. You definitely want to do that. The next thing you want to do is wipe data and factory reset. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We are going to say yes to delete. <laughs> if I can tap on yes, we're going to wipe. And then this time we're going to say yes instead of no. And it's going to go through and wipe the data, do a format of data, format of cache. It's wiping this whole thing out. So we're going to be as stock as we can get, of course, with all the modifications that we've made. Data wipe is complete. I'm returned back to my menu. The next thing that we want to do is install a zip from the SD card. We'll go ahead and do that. We want to choose a zip. And I've got these in my download folder. Now, when we did that factory reset, it did not erase this. Something to keep in mind. Otherwise, you'd have to push the files over and it gets painful. Luckily, this was not erased. It wasn't deleted. So we're good to go. The first thing that I'm going to do is flash this. It's the CWM radio for the i9250JB. Go ahead and flash that. That is an updated radio. It goes hand in hand with this Jelly Bean build. Just takes a moment and I'm returned back to my menu. It says down here that the new baseband was flashed and the flasher has completed. Let's go ahead and choose another zip from my SD card. Again, this is in downloads. And what I'm gonna do here, you can see I've got a CM9 RC1 Nightly. We don't wanna do that one. Instead, we're gonna do this. This is the big XE. It's the JRN84D. It is rooted and it has BusyBox already built into it. It's also deodexed. Go ahead and select that one. Say yes. It's gonna go ahead and do this. This process takes a little bit of time. Not more than a few minutes, but be patient here. It might also be worth mentioning at this point, you wanna make sure you've got a good deal of battery because at this point, if you lose battery, you're kind of stuck. You can probably dig yourself out of it, but you don't want to lose battery while your phone is flashing. I'm not gonna make you sit through all of this and wait. I'm going to, uh, through the magic of television, let you fast forward to the good parts. So we're approximately one minute later, and you can see I've been returned back to my menu. I'm done. Install from SD card was complete. We're gonna go back, and now we can reboot the system. Once we do that, we are booting up into Jelly Bean. Told you that was easy. Now, how can you tell it's Jelly Bean? First and foremost, you're gonna notice a new boot animation right here. It's not your old weird one, it's now just the very basic X with the glowing legs. The first boot does take some time. So that process took about three minutes. Go ahead and start. 
do I have a Google account? And it kind of hints, this is a Gmail icon. If you use Gmail, answer yes. Go ahead and do that. It's going to ask me for my sign in now. I'll go ahead and do that off camera for you. We've got our first legal prompt that says by signing in, we're agreeing to the terms of service of all of those different places. We'll say, okie dokie. Setting up can take a few minutes. Now what it's doing here is it's signing in with my credentials. If my credentials are wrong, this is where I'm going to get an error message coming back. And then it's going to start incorporating some of my settings over here. So it's asking me if I want to restore from my Google account to this phone and if I want to keep this phone backed up with my Google account. Well, that's great because I don't want to have to go through and manually re-download all of my apps and re-input all of my settings. So we're going to keep those checked and hit the next button. You'll notice that the arrows are very simple now. It doesn't say next and previous or next and back. It's just a simple arrow going forward and an arrow going back. Much more universal that way. Now what we're doing here is we're restoring some of the settings. That was quick. It's going to use my Google location if I tell it to. I want it to, so I'll leave those checked and we'll go to the next screen. Very user friendly. Just a sec. That doesn't say please wait. Just a sec. It's finished and ready to use, so we'll hit finish. And now I've got a quick tutorial. It says OK. And we'll just come through from here. You can see it's already downloading apps. We've got the new settings. Everything looks great. And we'll go ahead and come down here to About Phone. And you'll notice we indeed are on 4.1 right there, JRN 84D. That's it. You've got Jelly Bean running on your Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so see how easy that was? Now, of course, we didn't walk you through the OEM unlocking. We didn't walk you through rooting or any of that stuff or flashing on our custom recovery ROM. But there are some things that we just can't do in a video. Make sure you head over to pocketnow.com, read the article associated with this video. We'll give you some very helpful links on how you can do that and how to get started. But if you've already got an unlocked phone, you've already got Clockwork Mod or your other favorite recovery image on there, you're good to go. Just download the files that we mentioned in the video. Now that's two things. That's the Jelly Bean ROM and that's the radio as well. We'll have links for those over at the article at pocketnow.com as well. So what did you think? Did you like it? If so, give the video a big thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, head over to pocketnow.com and leave those for us in the comments down at the bottom of the article. We'll be waiting to answer that there. And of course, we'll have all of our helpful, friendly audience members who will also jump in and give you a hand as well. For Pocket Now, showing off Jelly Bean and just how easy it is to get running on your phone, I'm Joe Levi.